Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. This lymphatic filariasis. What is this lymphatic filariasis? It is a disease. How it is caused? Why is it in the news? And all those details we must have to understand. Okay. Lymphatic filariasis. Why is it in the news? Recently, Union Health Minister inaugurated second phase of annual nationwide mass drug administration. So, they are going to go for mass drug administration initiative which is going to target lymphatic, lymphatic filariasis, this particular disease. What is this disease? We generally know this disease as elephantiasis. Okay? So, let us understand what this, the details about it, the further details about it. India aims to eliminate this particular disease by the year 2027, which is three years ahead of the global target. And this we are going to achieve through a mission drive strategy. So, India has a mission drive strategy and this initiative is one such initiative under this mission. Okay, Mass drug administration, nationwide mass drug administration has been initiated. Next, what is this lymphatic filariasis? It is commonly known, known as elephantiasis as we already saw and it is a neglected tropical disease. All these points are very important. It is a tropical disease. Other than that, it is a parasitic infection. Okay, So, it is caused by a parasite. This infection is caused by a parasite and how will it get, it, uh, get transmitted from one person to another? It will transmit through the bite of infected mosquitoes. So, when a mosquito is infected by this particular infection of a parasite and when that mosquito is going to bite human beings, they get infected by this lymphatic filariasis. Next, this impacts millions of individuals in tropical and subtropical regions across the country. So, where does it occur? Tropical and subtropical regions. So, this is also important. A question based on this may be asked in your prelims examination. So, all these points are important with respect to lymphatic filariasis. What other things do we have to see? What are the causes and transmission? How is it caused and how, would, how is it transmitted from one person to another? First thing is, it is caused by infection with parasite. This we already saw and these parasites are classified as nematodes. Okay, roundworms also called as roundworms. They come under the family of filariodidae. Filario didier. Okay. Next, there are three types of filarial worms. What are they? Ucheche, sorry, Ucheraria bancrofti, Brugia malai, and Brugia timori. These are the three different filarial worms, and of these, the first variety is responsible for 90% of the cases, and the rest of the cases are due to this Brugia malai. And this Brugia timori is also responsible for certain cases. So, it is also capable of causing this particular filariasis. Okay. So, these names are important. You can have a look at it. Next, what are the symptoms and how is this particular disease is treated? Symptoms may be like, it may also be asymptomatic. Acute and chronic conditions will have different sim symptoms. Okay. So, it may be asymptomatic first thing and acute and chronic diseases will have some other symptoms. In case of chronic conditions, it leads to lymph edema. So, it affects lymphatic system of our body. So, edema means swelling in general. Okay? So, when there is going to be tissue swelling that is called as lymph edema or else it may also lead to a condition called elephantiasis. This is a very common thing which you might have noticed in some people, elephantiasis. So, what is it? Thickening of limbs. Okay. So, skin or tissue thickening of limbs is called as elephantiasis and it may also lead to hydrosal. What is hydrosal here? Scrotal swelling is called as hydrosal. Okay. And the scrotum swells then that is called as hydrosal. Next, how is it treated? WHO has recommended three drug treatment for this particular lymphatic filariasis and what are those three drugs and how is it called? It is called as IDA. What is IDNA? I is ivermectin. 
and the second drug is D that is diethyl carbamazine citrate that is the second drug and then the third one is albendazole okay so these are the three drugs which are together administered to people who are having this lymphatic filariasis okay so all these details are important from your example